Welcome to this traditional Hatha Tantra yoga class, where we will use our practice to direct energy through the chakras. We will begin by coming to our mats, taking a comfortable seated position, taking a moment to tune in to our breath and to our body so that we can be fully present in this practice. Feel free to put your hand on your chest, bringing awareness to the chest in your heart space. As you take an inhalation, feeling the lungs fill with air and an exhalation coming into yourself. When you're ready, move to your hands and knees, with your knees hip width apart, and begin doing gentle cat cow taking a deep inhalation, dropping the belly to the floor, moving your tailbone up towards the sky, and then exhaling, going the opposite direction, as if a string is pulling the top of your back towards the ceiling, tucking your tailbone and your chin towards each other. Do a few more rounds like this warming up the spine and loosening up the muscles that protect our spinal column. Begin to move your spine like a jump rope, as if you have a pull through the center of your body and you're jumping rope around it with your spine. When you're ready, switch directions, moving the opposite direction around the pole, feeling the muscles in your back stretch as you move them in every direction. Come back into tabletop, the neutral spine. Tuck your toes and then gently push back into downward dog. Maybe this is the first time you've come into downward dog today. Really taking a moment to feel your body. Stretch the backs of your legs, bending one leg and then the other. And bend your knees deeply and push your body towards your legs, feeling a good stretch in your back. Gently bring your right leg up, bending your knee, opening your hip to the side. When you're ready, bring it back down and move to the other side. Your left leg up towards the sky, bending your knee and opening your hips up to the side again. Slowly bringing awareness and blood flow to your legs and hip space. When you're ready, walk up to the front of your mat and hang forward. Bend your knees gently, letting gravity pull on your body, bringing space in between the vertebrae of your column, spinal column. Slowly roll up to standing position, one vertebrae at a time, until you are fully erect. Plant your feet firmly in the ground. Activate the muscles in your legs, pulling them apart from each other, making your spine erect and straight, shoulder blades back and down, chin parallel to the floor. Become grounded in your body, having a sense that you are connected to the earth. Bring your hands together at heart center. Take a deep breath and let it out. Raise your hands above your head, pushing your hips forward, and then forward fold all the way to the front, letting out any breath that was in your lungs. With your left foot, step back into a lunge, coming to the tips of your fingers, and then stepping back into plank. 
pushing through your hands for a straight spine. Drop your knees, chest and chin to the ground in Ashtangasana. And then push forward into Cobra, making sure that your hips are connected to the ground and your chest is facing forward. Push back into Downward Dog. And stepping forward with your left foot, come to lunge position. Again, keeping the tips of your fingers on the ground and your chest facing forward. Step forward with your right foot, bringing your feet together. Come to a forward fold. Lift your hands all the way up to the ceiling, pushing your hips forward for a slight back bend if that feels good for you. Bring your hands back to heart center. Gently drop your hands to your sides and have a, a moment of awareness, recognizing this first sun salutation that you just did. Feeling the energy moving through your body. Bring your hands to heart center and then push them up to the sky, pushing your hips forward and forward fold to the ground. This time step back with your right foot into lunge. Again, coming only to the tips of your fingers, opening the chest to the front. Step back to plank, pushing through your hands so that your shoulder blades really stretch apart. Bring your knees, chest, and chin to the ground and push forward into cobra. Hips planted firmly in the ground. Push back into downward dog and bring your right foot forward to a lunge position. Tips of your fingers still connected to the earth. Step forward to forward fold and sweep your hands all the way up to the sky slight back bend and bring your palms to heart center. Gently drop your hands to your sides and again notice the difference that you might feel by moving through the right side of your body this time, your solar side. We're going to do another round. So bring your hands together at heart center and push your hands up, stretching the back before folding forward, letting out all the air in your lungs. Step back with your left foot, your lunar side, opening up that hip before stepping back into plank, firmly grounded in the earth. Drop your knees, chest and chin, to the floor and then slide forward into cobra pushing your shoulder blades down and back come back into downward dog and then step forward with your left foot again firm grounded lift your chest come forward into forward fold sweep your hands all the way to the top pushing your hips forward, and then bring your hands to heart center. Again, take a moment to feel what you've just created in your body. Feel the energy moving. What does that feel like on your left side? For the next round, bring your hands together at heart center. Sweep them all the way up to the top. So grateful for your practice today. As you bend forward into a forward fold, letting your neck relax. Step back with your right foot. Bring your chest forward, your tips of your fingers still connected to the ground. And step back in plank. Drop your knees, chest, and chin to the ground and then slide forward so that your hips touch the ground, your shoulders are back. Come back into downward dog. And step forward with your right foot, coming into lunge, opening your chest before stepping your feet together at the top of your mat for a forward fold. 
Sweep your hands all the way up. Gentle back bend if that feels good for you. Bring your hands to heart center. Rest them at your sides. And again, be aware of the feeling, the sensation of moving through sun salutations as you begin your practice. For another round, bring your hands together at your heart center. Move them all the way up. Gentle back bend and forward fold, feeling warmer and ready for this round. Step back with your left foot into lunge, opening the chest, keeping your hands connected to the earth. Step all the way back into plank, pushing through the hands, creating space behind the shoulder blades. Knees, chest and chin to the ground before moving into cobra, chest opening up to the front. Push back into downward dog. And now step forward with your left leg into lunge. Again, opening the chest, stretching the right hip. Bring both feet together at the front of the mat, forward fold. And then sweep your hands all the way to the top, reaching back behind you before bringing your hands together at heart center. Taking a moment to rest in this awareness, feeling your body, feeling the sensations of this energy moving through you as you move through these postures. Bringing the hands together at heart center and then pushing all the way up for a gentle back bend and forward fold, hands all the way to the ground. Feeling strong and empowered, bring your right leg back to a lunge, hands connected to the ground before stepping back into plank. Back strong as you drop your knees, your chest and your chin to the ground. Sliding forward into cobra, pushing your hips into the ground and lifting your chest. Come back into downward dog. Step forward with your right foot into lunge. Again, bringing your chest forward with your hands still connected to the ground. Step forward into forward fold. Come all the way up, reaching up to the sky and a little bit behind you. Bring your hands to heart center. And taking a moment to feel your body, feeling the blood buzzing through your veins as you have taken the time to warm up your body, wake up both the lunar and solar sides of your energy centers. Now let's begin moving through the postures one at a time. In traditional hatha, we hold the postures for anywhere from two minutes to four minutes to hours, but in this practice, we'll just hold them for two to four minutes. Begin by bringing your left foot back. We're going to go into warrior two. If it's hard for you to balance, then separate your feet as wide as your mat, taking up as much space as you need. Take a moment to make sure that your hips, bones are facing the side of your mat, completely open, and move your shoulders so that they are also facing the side of your mat, bringing your arms up parallel to the ground, and if you can, bring your knee directly over your ankle. Take a deep breath and settle into this position and make sure that it feels good for your body. In Tantra, we always begin on the left side, which is our lunar side. It's a side of receptivity, where we draw in energy from the earth, pulling it into our body, into our chakras. And in this posture, we're working with Manipura, which is right at our center. It's what builds fire and determination, our motivation to get through our tasks and day-to-day -day things and our biggest goals and dreams, everything. 
So really feel that energy coming in through your back leg, moving all the way up the leg to your Manipura, which sits right underneath your rib cage, right at the stomach. See that energy building as your legs begin to burn, send that burning sensation to your Manipura chakra, pulling in that energy for later use. Taking deep breaths, settling into this posture, creating space for the energy right in your Manipura chakra. If this becomes difficult for you, feel free to straighten the front leg and shake it out a little bit and then Come back into it, remembering to keep your hips pointing towards the side of your mat, your back straight, also pointing towards the side. Looking over the tips of your front right fingers. As it begins to burn, which I'm sure it is, because it is for me, focus on that burning sensation of your muscles working in this posture and send it to your Manipura chakra, your solar plexus chakra, as if it's a burning bright ball of fire right in the center of your abdomen. And we will use that energy throughout our practice and we will use it throughout our day to accomplish our tasks and do what we need to do. And gently release, slowly coming out of it stepping forward, being mindful that your hips have been open for quite some time and gently stepping to the front of your mat, facing forward, palms facing forward, close your eyes and take a deep breath, coming into an awareness of the work that you've just done. And time for the other side, the solar side, our emissive side, where we use the energy that we have pulled from the earth to do all the things that we need to do, emit this energy in our day-to-day -day actions, our determination and motivation. So just like the left side, bring your right leg back towards the back of your mat. Spread your legs apart as wide as your mat if you have tr troubles balancing. This will help you keep your balance as you hold the posture for a long time. Bring your hips facing the side of your mat and your shoulders as well, making sure that your spine is erect as you sink deep into this posture. Bring your knee, your front knee over the top of your ankle and your arms are parallel to the ground. Turn your gaze to the left towards the front of your mat over the tips of your fingers. And as we work on this solar side, we're pulling up energy once again from the right leg that is back rooted to the ground. And sending it to the right side of our Manipura chakra. We are strengthening and emboldening the right side of this chakra, which is our emissive side. Our ability to take this energy that we have stored here and use it to accomplish our goals, 
to get through the day. That fire and determination that sometimes is so lacking, this posture really helps us cultivate it. If you need to, you can straighten your front leg and shake it out and shake your arms out a little bit. Come back into the posture and again, connect with that determination, that fire that you're building and use it. Put it towards your Manipura chakra as if you're building energy like a battery. Taking deep breaths, bringing your awareness back to the center of your abdomen just below the rib cage, where your solar plexus chakra resides. Seeing this ball of energy grow with each breath, each moment that you stay in this posture. Sink deeper if you have it in you. Just a few more moments. And release. Again, gently come out of it, mindful that you've been holding this posture for four whole minutes. Shake out the legs a little bit as you come to the front of your mat. Close your eyes. Take a moment of awareness, feeling the energy in your body what does the right side of your body feel like after holding that? Where do you feel it? And in this next posture, we will continue to build energy in our Manipura Chakra in chair pose. Look down at your feet and make sure that the outer edges are parallel to each other and maybe even bringing your big toes together. And I like to bring my knees together to touch. It makes this posture a little bit easier to hold for long periods. And sink back as if you're sitting into a chair. You don't need to go all the way back so that your thighs are parallel to the floor. Just go back where it is comfortable and challenging at the same time. If you can, keep your spine straight a slight arch is okay. That makes it a lot more comfortable. In traditional Tantra, the spine would be completely straight as to not curve the line of energy that you are working with in the chakras. Bring your arms up overhead and your chin parallel to the floor and breathe. Again, seeing this power pose as a conduit of energy coming straight through the earth beneath your feet, up your legs, directly into your Manipura chakra. Have a sense of fire burning in your solar plexus, your Manipura chakra. A fire burning in your legs, send it there, send it to your chakra. Sink deeper if you can. Just a few more moments. 
and release. Coming up into a standing position, close your eyes. Be present in this feeling of burning sensations in your legs, and building power and energy in your solar plexus, Manipura chakra. And we are going to come into our last standing position, which once again, we'll be working with Manipura. We'll build heat and energy in this sequence so that we can use it for the rest of the day as we need. Step back with your left foot and come into a high lunge. Putting your hand, your left hand on your lower abdomen and your right hand on your tailbone and kind of pushing your tailbone forward and making sure that your abdomen is tucked in and flat. Bring your arms up overhead and then twist over towards your right side and bring your hands into prayer position. Moving your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Opening your chest to the right side of your mat. If you can, straighten the back leg as much as is comfortable for you. And take a peek at your right knee and make sure it's not ahead of your right ankle. And breathe. Again, we are working with the left side, bringing up energy through your back leg all the way to your Manipura chakra. Send that energy there and release. Gently and carefully stepping forward to the front of your mat, standing tall with your hands beside your hips Close your eyes, take a breath, come into yourself, feel the energies centered in your core. And we will step back with our right foot again, same process, but on the opposite leg. Square your hips towards the front. Make sure that your tailbone is facing downward as much as possible. Bring your hands up overhead and then come forward and twist to the left, bringing your hands to heart center in a prayer pose. Take your right elbow and take it to the outside of your left knee, ensuring that your left knee is directly over your left ankle. Take a deep inhalation, filling your lungs as much as you can, straightening your spine. And then on the exhale, twist a little bit more, finding a comfortable position to hold this for just a couple minutes. Envisioning the energy from the earth. Coming up through your back leg, up to its spot in your Manipura chakra. And gently release, carefully stepping to the front of your mat, standing up straight, maybe shake out the legs a little bit, 
close your eyes and breathe taking a moment to be aware of what you've just done the work that you have just put into this posture feeling the right side of your body opening up and now we will move to the ground so go ahead and gently make your way to your mat finding a seat on your bum your feet straight ahead of you get comfortable i'm gonna take a nice long hold in this position find a way to make your bum directly connect with the ground maybe wiggle a little bit as if you could get your tailbone to connect with the ground maybe you need to move the flesh of your butt cheeks away from your tailbone wiggle your legs so that they're straight take a deep breath and sit up straight moving your hands all the way above your head and exhale gently and slowly coming forward if you can grab your toes then do so if it's uncomfortable for you you can take a towel and roll it up and put it under your knees or put a small pillow under your bum to make it a lot more comfortable and breathe the purpose of this posture is not for a deep stretch although that is what you get it's to connect your root chakra muladhara to the earth your muladhara chakra is at the base of your spine and in a position like this it is in between you and the earth it comes a little bit out connecting sort of plugging into the earth energy it's really important that you're able to directly connect it by having your tailbone as close to the earth as possible have a sense that all of the earth's energy that makes it spin and grow life is also connected to you through your root chakra at the base of your spine this is a very grounding posture it reminds you where you came from and where you belong on this earth so breathe deeply and have a sense of being connected to the earth in this posture Take a deep inhalation, straightening the spine as much as you can, that's comfortable for you. And on the exhale, release. Maybe you sink a little bit closer to your legs. Maybe your arms relax. It's okay if you don't touch your toes, just simply relax into this position as much as you can. few more moments feeling grounded and connected through your root chakra to the earth in this posture
and gently release, taking a moment to slowly come out, respecting the fact that you've been holding this posture for a really long time. You don't want to do any sudden movements. Sit up straight, close your eyes, and take a moment to really appreciate this posture and connecting with this grounding energy of the earth. In this next posture, we're going to continue to connect with this root earth energy by bringing the soles of our feet together again and wiggle around a little bit and make sure that your tailbone is as closely connected to the earth as possible and find a comfortable way to bring your feet together. Some call this butterfly pose or bound angle pose. Your knees don't need to be on the floor. And in fact, if this is uncomfortable, you can put pillows or blocks under each knee. You can also put a pillow under your bum to make it a little bit more comfortable for you. We'll be holding this posture for a few minutes. So it's important that you safely sit in it and it's comfortable and not trying to hurt ourselves. Take a deep breath and come forward. Traditional Tantra, your chin would be on the ground and parallel to the ground, but I'm not that flexible and you might not be either. So come forward as much as you comfortably can and keep your gaze forward. Gently close your eyes if you really want to go inward with this having a sense that again, you are grounded in this earth, like a sponge absorbing the energy up through your root chakra at the base of your spine. Maybe you want to go a little deeper. If that feels good for you, you can. I like to drop my head and close my eyes and become grounded in this posture. And gently come up with an erect spine. Bring your knees together and put your feet forward a little bit. Just rest your arms on your knees and close your eyes, having a moment of awareness, feeling grounded and centered now that we have cooled down with these Muladhara root chakra postures. Now we're going to do a gentle twist. So bend your left leg, bringing your left heel to the outside of your right hip. And then take your right leg and cross it over the top, bringing your right heel to the outside of your left knee. Take a deep breath and with a straight spine, slowly twist to the right, bringing your elbow to the outside of your right knee and your right hand back behind you. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can straighten your left leg and do a gentle twist. I like to hold my knee with my left arm and pull myself into a deeper twist. Take a deep breath, straightening the spine and on the exhalation, twist a little bit deeper. Feel the energy once again coming up through the base of your spine. This time working all the way up to your throat chakra, the Vishuddha chakra. Your left side of the throat is exposed here. This is your lunar side, your receptive side. So you are receiving this energy in your throat chakra.
Take a deep inhalation. Making the spine straight and then exhale, twisting a little bit further as if you could pull energy up your spine to your throat chakra simply by twisting deeper. And when you're ready, gently release, facing forward and relaxing your legs in a comfortable position. Bring your spine straight, close your eyes, and have a sense of awareness of your throat chakra, filled with energy from this posture. We're gonna move to the other side now. So opposite legs, bending your right leg, bringing your right heel to your left bum, outside hip, and taking your left leg, crossing over the top of your right, taking your left heel to the outside of your right knee. Take a deep breath with a straight spine and twist to your left. You can move your right elbow outside of your top knee and your left hand back behind you. Again, I really like to grab my knee and pull myself into a deeper twist. Looking back over your left shoulder opening up the right side of your throat chakra, your solar side, your emissive side, you are empowering your ability to come from a place of universal truth, pulling energy up from the ground, coming all the way up your spine, and settling into your throat chakra. Next inhalation, have a straight spine and as you exhale, twist a little bit deeper. And when you're ready, gently come back forward to the front, relaxing your legs into a comfortable position and closing your eyes. Taking a moment to honor this posture and your throat chakra. When you're ready, we're going to come onto our backs. This pose that we're going to do is a little bit tricky, so you might watch me at first. It's called fish pose. Come onto your flat back and then put your hands underneath your bum, palms facing down. I like to put them on either side of my tailbone. Line up your forearms so that your elbows are directly facing down and then with your abs, pull your body forward and up so as if you're resting on your elbows. And then drop your neck back so that the top of your head is connecting directly to the ground. If you look at me now, you can see the posture that I'm in a little bit more moderate so that if you don't feel comfortable bending your neck all the way back you can keep your head up but if you do feel good and your arms are strong you can put the top of your head the crown of your head to your mat using your ab muscles to hold your body up and breathe this posture is a beautiful way to close the practice. It brings the energy up through your spine, all the way through each of the chakras, taking a moment in the heart center before coming to your throat chakra, 
coming through to your third eye between your eyes and settling into your crown. Have a sense of this energy moving up, moving through you, uniting all of your energy centers in a single posture. Breathing deeply and slowly, using the breath to guide the energy from the base of your spine all the way up to the upper chakras and your third eye. When you're ready, bring your chin forward towards your chest and wiggle your way out from your elbows and then gently release, laying back into Shavasana. Taking a moment to be aware of the energy moving through all of your chakras in that last posture. Bring your feet a little bit wider than your yoga mat and your hands out to the sides as if you're a lazy starfish. Get your shoulder blades flat under your back. Take a deep breath. And release. If you feel any tension in your body, witness it, be aware, and then release, melting into your mat for final relaxation, letting your body and your energy centers integrate this practice that you've just done. bringing all of your awareness and all of the energy work into your heart center, letting it settle there as you relax deeper into your mat. Begin to wiggle your toes and your fingertips. Maybe take your hands up above your head and stretch, waking your body back up. Roll over to your side in a fetal position, comfortable, vulnerable. And then push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Sitting upright, close your eyes. Take a deep breath 
anchoring yourself in your practice and the energy that you just built so that you can move through the rest of your day present and aware. Thank you so much for spending this class with me and thank you to everybody before me that has brought me this practice so that I can share it with you. Hope you have a great day. Namaste.